Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss mycotoxins. Myco means fun fungi or fungus, while toxin means poisons. So these are poisonous material produced by a certain fungi. Fungi are useful as well as are very harmful to living organism. They produce a variety of different toxic chemicals. But in this lecture, we are going to study aflatoxins. Aflatoxins are specialized poisonous chemicals produced by certain fungi, which are carcinogenic, means cancer causing, and mutagenic, means mutation causing in our DNA. So these are very powerful poisonous compound produced by aspergillus flavus. The name has driven from aflatoxin from fungus aspergillus flavus. So first of all we are going to discuss different types of aflatoxins present in our food. So first of all I have made a diagram or structure of a compound aflatoxin B1 which is most poisonous, most carcinogenic aflatoxins. This aflatoxin is produced by spores of aspergillus flavus which is a fungi which grows on certain nuts and foods. The first type of aflatoxin is B1 and B2. These are very powerful aflatoxins which are produced by aspergillus flavus and aspergillus parasiticus. The second type of aflatoxins is G1 and G2. G1 and G2 aflatoxins are also produced by aspergillus flavus and aspergillus parasiticus but there is a group 2 of these fungi which produce G1 and G2. So these are the four major and important aflatoxins which are commonly found in our environment in our food stuff. Aflatoxin M1 which is metabolite of aflatoxin B1, aflatoxin M2 which is metabolite of B2 which is produced during the metabolism of aflatoxin B1 and B2 in a living organism. Aflatoxicol and aflatoxin Q1 are also important aflatoxins present in our food stuff. Now we are going to discuss which foods are affected by these aflatoxins. So there are many foods like chilies, corn, maize, millets, peanuts, rice, wheat, tree nuts including almonds, cashew nuts, walnuts, pistachio, etc., milk, fodder, dairy products, and cotton seeds, and also sesame seeds. So there are many different variety of plants and seeds which can be contaminated with this fungus if, pro if properly, if improperly stored these grains and foodstuff. When this, when these grains seeds and food is consumed by animals or human being directly or indirectly they can get aflatoxins from these foodstuffs and aflatoxin when enter inside the body they can harm and produce different types of diseases inside the body. So what are the effects of aflatoxins if they enter in a human body or in an animal body. So first of all when aflatoxins enters in our body after passing through digestive system these toxins are uh, provided to liver uh, through blood and our liver is the first organ which encounter these toxins and helps to remove them but in that case 
it can also suffer from these toxins and which can leads to liver cancer so liver cancer is the first effect on uh, of aflatoxins it also suppresses our immune system it means it weakens the immune system and weaken immune system means many different diseases are going to attack on your body in children's it retarded growth and development it also cause depression and abnormal behavior if certain amount of these toxins reaches into our nervous system it can impair digestion because it can block absorption of lipids carbohydrates and proteins in our small intestine in large amount of these toxins can cause death of the animal or human being it can also cause anemia blood deficiency and jaundice it can also cause liver cirrhosis so there are many different uh, effects of the adverse effects of these toxins on human being and other animals so we have to avoid these toxins so then it's very difficult to get rid of these toxins because they are difficult to eliminate usually certain gamma rays and a specific high temperature treatment is required to preserve food from these uh, mycotoxins means aflatoxins so once uh, uh, especially in developing countries aflatoxins are causing 40% of diseases in all human beings and other animals and every year 4 billion people are affected worldwide so that is a huge number of Uh, diseases and huge number of people affected by these aflatoxin because these are commonly present in our daily consuming food especially in developing countries so once if the aflatoxins has been entered in our body then it is difficult to eliminate then there is a certain medication and there is no antidote for these aflatoxin but certain medication Uh, are can be used to detoxify these toxins and uh, we have to be careful about our daily diet and food that it must be free of these aflatoxins that's all for today see you in the next lecture until then bye